Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're working on some sort of fresh air intake that's been having a problem for quite a while making a lot of noise right now we obviously have no noise at all so we're here to check to see what is going on here this is some once again some sort of fresh air intake and also connected to some kind of inline duct furnace but the issue right now is that we got no fresh air entering a commercial kitchen. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on some sort of fresh air intake. This thing basically runs 24 seven. It has been known to make a ton of noise. I actually found this before where it actually fell off the threaded rods. I believe I have a video of it. When I put on those new vibration uh, pieces right there to like hang it back up, three out of four collapsed. I'm surprised this thing held up. The duct honestly held it up. Right now, this motor runs constantly. There's been a problem, but right now, obviously we have no noise. I have no idea what's going on. Let's go ahead and see what is happening here all right guys so they have some sort of inline duct furnace here i doubt they need any bit of heat it's like 93 degrees no, sorry 93 degrees so they're not using heat but they do use that fan outside so they bring in fresh air into this kitchen so right now let's see what's going on over here all right we're over here put my light they did say that they found a belt off of it and that is the belt right here looks like they changed it they put the belt back on this thing ain't working got some kind of motor starter all right so we have a disconnect box here handles up so it should be supplying power looks like there's some kind of lights here there's no lights right now it says it's on off actually pushed on off what if i click hand what the heck press off why is that making noise uh -huh. okay so these are those little buttons for this let's see what's going on here let's inspect it to see if we see any oh there's a little light bulb here so there's this light here there's got to be some sort of power what was the, what was that sound it came from here not even on the motor what is going on here? We got a Eaton Cutler Hammer motor starter here, huh? Okay, so we just put this here. So right now, this is the light for here. This will be auto. This switch will be off. This switch will be hand. And then it says we have a reset button here. Oh, and that's this guy. I hear any clicks so over didn't reset this motor starter. Real quick, let's see, power, motor comes in here. Okay, so the power's coming through there. Let's put on volts, let's start with power. I honestly don't deal with this too much. Motor starters, but I do know about them, all right? So we got 193, so this is a 208 system. I don't know why it's like only 193. And then we got 194 here. 193. Kind of low for 208 but this is clearly a three-phase motor starter got it on off now if i click hand and watch out for this thing blows oh there's the contact that's trying to plunge in so it seems like coil voltage would be there and it's trying to start but it's not doing it Let's push this in by hand. Nothing. Goes through here. To a switch and then to the motor. Why does that look wet? Let's turn that on and click hand. And it's not, but hold on, that switch is off. It's having trouble to pull pull in. It seems like this just could be a bad motor starter. So this is basically a contactor. Then we have like an overload here with some like heaters or whatever that I hear people call them. Mm -hmm. 
motors humming. All right, hold on a second. This might be a dead motor. Let's put an amp probe across one of the legs. Okay, let's push this in. Look at those amp. Look at those amps. 38 amps, that's way too much. Way too much. Is there any info on this motor? I see a motor plate. Man, they gotta clean up around here. Let me see if I get some info off that motor. But 38 amps, there ain't no way. Looks like it's a bad motor. Lock rotor. All right, so from this tag, I can see this is a dual voltage motor. Three phase, 2.2 horsepower. So it could either be 230 volts or 480 volts. For 230, we run at 8.6 amps. And for 480 volts, it runs at 4.8 amps, almost half. To be honest, that voltage is kind of low, which is a little weird. I do want to check the disconnect, but it looks like this motor is done. And with all those amps, it probably tripped. Let's see the, the overload. Let's see something didn't even didn't seem like that reset but even when you try to click hand i don't know if you guys can see but the plunger on this thing doesn't even go it's like shaking i think it's done man let's see oh. whoa six amps jesus All right, guys, a bit strange. So first things first, why in hand do we have locked rotor? But then in auto, it actually runs and the amps actually weren't bad. You saw before we had like 40 amps, this motor was locked, but in hand it does, it does sound terrible regardless, but it's actually working. That's so weird, so in hand. Now, now it works. What the heck? So now in, in hand mode, it actually goes. That contactor was like dribbling around, honestly, and it's buzzing right now. I would change the contactor, the motor starter, because right now this thing is just nuts. All right, so this is the, the plunger right here. And that thing was just shaking, so that's weird. Yeah, I'd say this is just a bad motor starter. It needs to be replaced. I would try to put in the same exact one. Real talk. That thing is buzzing so bad. It's buzzing so bad. Let me talk over here because it's so crazy in there. So the motor starter itself was buzzing like crazy. And everything sounds so bad, but they want to leave it as is right now. We're going to let it run because this is bringing in fresh air into the kitchen. It also supplies fresh air for a furnace, but they don't use that right now. It's like, I guess, two in one. But anyways, the plan right now is that I'm going to call Eaton or Cutler Hammer, same company, and try to get them that new starter box with the on, off, reset, and auto function. Try to rebuild that. Get them a new starter so that thing doesn't buzz and clearly something's wrong with that starter if i put it in hand and it made it seem like we have a lock rotor and then when i put it on auto <laughs> it actually started so that thing is done that was a quick one we're gonna change that and you know this thing is gonna give out but to be honest to rebuild it in such in such a tough spot look how close this is to here there's no space here you're not getting this out through here and you're not getting this out through there and we don't want to have to start taking apart ductwork and stuff like that just to get stuff out. But honestly, and also, we got a building over here. These people are going to hear this all night, 24-7. There's just no way. 
so I'm gonna make a proposal for them to get something new I don't think it's worth rebuilding they need a new piece in there I got a model number here I got a tag here this is made by cook pretty good company and it is what it is I would be honest and look how it's shaking this thing's gonna collapse it collapsed before and I actually hung these up all these new hangers that was me oh man it is not re this is not worth rebuilding oh and there's that wire that goes up here into that box you gotta see where's that for is that like some kind of fire alarm cable or something or I don't know but we gotta follow that out figure out what's going on here but for now like I said we're gonna rebuild that starter box for our motor starter and then make a proposal for a new unit and try to figure that out honestly it's gonna be a tough one it's crazy how in hand it seemed like we had locked rotor it was definitely locked but maybe we just weren't being supplied with the proper power but when i put it in auto i'm glad i caught that sometimes it's best to just instead of rushing the gun with things be patient and if you can connect it to directly to power and make sure it's, it's getting power before you diagnose something faulty but either way at this point they really need something new we're gonna change the starter we'll wire it up and we'll let it be and then give them a quote for something new but glad i caught that and i'm glad i was messing around and this thing just sounds horrible so i'm gonna change this whole box and i'm gonna let it be this thing looks terrible it needs some love probably need to change the belt really really sounds bad but anyways it's working i would probably change that with a new belt maybe put some uh, belt dressing on it to make it sound a little better see if this motor needs any oil or uh, any grease to the bearings or whatever to try to make it sound decent but this thing's on its way out and it's been on its way out for a very long time and that's pretty much it it's sunday emergency service customers happy and i'm trying to go home if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.